So, Iron, how long you been playing? Uh, I'm, 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 I'm new to the game, fairly new, just... Just a couple months. So, what's your goal with this video game? Um, nothing too serious, um... I, I, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm okay, you Not know? too serious, you paid a lot of money to get coached by me. <laughs> My friend Garen recommended me on, I think you trained him on Sunday, or super late, or Saturday late, like at 12 Oh, morning. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, cool, so you're, you're fairly new as well? Because, you know, all you guys that are, like, real, real newbie, like, iron, bronze, all that, I, I always want to make sure that the foundation's good. Um, you played, it looks like you played a day ago, and you played Tristana, and so what I want to do, I'm going to do the same thing I did uh, recently. I'm just going to go and look at the VOD uh, of your game and see what you're doing first, and then we can maybe do a screen share or something also. Um, right, with that's... like a live coaching type of joint. I'm, I'm hearing myself in your mic. Do you have like speakers? Is that what you're using? Oh no, no, my mic's super loud. There you go. Maybe that's better. Uh, let's see. Test, test. Oh, maybe, maybe not. That sounds good. Okay, so I'm just going to share my screen. Let me know when you see it. There you go. I right, got it. Okay. Let me see here. I just got to log into NA. I was just on Korea, so I have to swap so that I can see your game. So the way this works, just so you know, um, you can actually watch any region's replays if you have an account. So like I have an NA account, I have a US account, I have a Korean account, like I have pretty much everything. The only one that's really difficult is China because China's like, they've got like a billion servers over there. They, got, they legit have like 14 servers or something, 17, something like that. Damn. And it's really, yeah, it's a real pain in the ass to, like, watch uh, their games as a result of that. Um, tell me about this this solo queue game. Are you playing with a friend, or is this just you? Yeah, I think I have my friend in there. Usually I play with a friend. Is it a support friend? Yeah, yeah. All right. So, let's look at this and see how you're moving and everything. So, my friend's been playing since season one. He's still bad. He's still bad. What elo is he? Yeah. He's playing since season one. He like bronze. Sounds like he really needs a coaching then. That's what <laughs> that sounds like. <laughs> Let me see here. So we've got uh, Pantheon, Pantheon Tristana. Okay, this is kind of cool. This little cheese you guys are doing. Your friend's already pissing me off by not standing in this bush. I don't really know why you would. <laughs> you know what I mean? See how he has to walk all the way around to do something now? Yeah, it's gonna be fine. Alright, so let's uh, look at this and see what you do here. Do you auto, auto, auto. So, in these situations, the best way to win these spots is to turn on the gin. Okay. Go on the gin. While autoing and like backing up, hit the gin. And your friend should be hitting the gin. The, if you look, so at the, be, at the beginning, like, yes, gin has a lot of health. I want you to look though, like, this is always really cool to show because in a game, you don't have time to look at shit like fucking enemy armor and all that while you're like kiting. Uh -huh. So, like, look at Leona's armor. Okay. 53. Right. Look at Jin's. Low is 30, almost half. Right. He's got, I mean, he has armor in his runes, but like it's still only 30. That shows you how low his base armor is, right? His base armor is like 24. So when you're fighting like this early, you really should be going on the Leona. And the reason I show this is also if you notice at the bottom left, uh, when she gets aftershock, watch her armor shoot up. Ready? As soon as she procs it, it goes to 93. And watch what you guys do. You're never gonna win that fight. You know what I mean? Like you're never gonna you're never gonna like put any real threat on anybody. I mean the Leona the Leona does like flash out, but realistically, just imagine a world where instead of ta targeting her, you just jumped on Jin while she had no cooldowns. The Leona. Yeah, he would have probably been. Yeah, he's he's using flash heal there, hundred percent. Like he has to, because he's just gonna get 
murdered if he doesn't respond to that. Especially since Pantheon has the Ignite. So because you guys are focusing the wrong target, um, it's, you know, it just doesn't go very well. Now, as for your actual auto attacking or whatever, I want to see, I want you to see what you do here. You're literally yeah, running, you're running away in a straight line and not autoing. Like you should be autoing this whole time, in my opinion. Yeah. Like, but kiting. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. How do you, how do you, um, how do you auto, are you auto attacking with just right click? Or are you using a left click yet? No, I'm using right click. I tried a left click, but uh, isn't it supposed to be like red when it clicks? Uh, let me show you. Um, basically the premise is very simple with a left click. Dude, I think my, I think my settings are fucked up actually. Um, I gotta fix that. But with a left click, look at this for a second. When you click the ground next to you, look at Tristana. See that? Yeah. Why is this important? Well, you're right clicking on targets, right? Watch the mouse movement when I need to kite away from the enemy. Okay. I need to go to my tower. Watch, watch my mouse movement slowly. You see that? My mouse yeah. is going like this, right? As opposed to this. So it'd be, it'd be more like this. Okay, that's actually really bad. I shouldn't have that on. You see the difference? Uh huh. I don't have to go all the way here, and I don't have to be accurate. That's the other thing. I don't have to click on anything. Why does this matter? Well, because if you misclick and you're right clicking, that's what happens. See that? Yeah. That's bad. So, A left click is the key. And that really helps with that. The other thing is, I want you to see... Look where my mouse is clicking. And I can select the targets without being accurate. See that? Yeah. So, anyways, um, share your screen real quick so I can help you out. So, why does this indicator matter? Because you want to know what your range looks like at all times. And I always use the metaphor of, like, if you hang something on a wall, you would do it with, like, a ruler, right? Like a tape measure. You wouldn't do it... Uh -huh. Just by fucking... You wouldn't just, like, wing it and try to make it aligned, right? Or you'd fuck it up. So the idea here is that if you keep that indicator at max range, that's a huge component of League of Legends. And when you're new, you need to understand that that's a very, very valuable thing. You, you have to keep yourself at the maximum range at all times. Um, every time you auto, you should step straight backwards, and that's to keep positioning. So you auto step away, like towards tower or, or up river in this case. Like you would imagine that the enemies would be chasing you, right? See how you just closed all that space? You never want to do that. See, look how close you are. Exactly. You don't want to be close. You want to move backwards, forwards. Yes. See the difference? Huge difference. Yeah. You always want to be positioning away between autos because, I mean, obviously if you're chasing somebody and you're trying to kill them, that's different. But as a rule of thumb, every time a team fight breaks out, you must do this, okay? This is like the fucking, this is the bread and butter of Tristana, okay? Or any ADC for the map. Even my champion today, I just lost the game. I team fought. I immediately dove back line instead of like kiting back first. And it uh -huh. fucked me. Like, I, like, fucked the game up just now. Just today. Um, yeah. I think that's uh, another problem I do. Sometimes I just get too into it. Like, I play Lucian more, a little bit more. Yeah. And uh, I end up eating into them because I'm not paying attention. Lucian's very delicate, like, when you're new. I would probably lean more on this champion because it's a more traditional ADC. Lucian's kind of strange because you kind of have to balance, like, spacing plus aggression. Which is really tough when you're new, in my opinion. Because you're already just trying to learn spacing right now. Right? And then, yeah. like, with Lucian, he's not... He's, he doesn't, like... He doesn't really dominate unless you know what the fuck you're doing with him. And it's just tough. Uh, so, that's the main thing that I wanted to show you. Press escape real quick. Um, go down to game. Put attack move on cursor. Click that. Yeah, and press OK. Now, this is important because now, A, left click the ground... Now you kind of see. It's going to target the closest thing that you've clicked near. Mm, okay. 
So, for example, if you want to target the other dummy, exactly, you would just click kind of near it, and you don't have to be perfect, but you can keep your spacing, and now your mouse movement's a lot better because you don't have to be completely accurate. Now, you're Tristana, so usually what I recommend is we're going to try to get level two first, so just auto the minion once and try to stay in front of the enemy's push. So you're now pushing the wave. I don't know where Swain is. There you go. So you're going to get level two on the next wave. I would try to all in like immediately after I get level two. Oh, okay, we'll just walk away. That's fine. That's fine. Just kite back and let them have the push then. If they're gonna if they're gonna cheese us, we're just gonna let them push the tower. Move your camera there. Are we able to get into XP range? That's what I would be wondering. No. We're not missing anything yet. So you just let them crash the wave. And you're just gonna remember press your A left click. Like use that shit. See how close you are? That's because you're not using A left click. You should be at the max range backing up. Yes. Get more centered towards your turret. There you go. You always want to be closer to your tower. That's good. Get ready to fall all the way back. That's good. So you, your uh, teammate got cheesed early, but we kept all of our sums, so there's that. Now, I'm not trying to insult your intelligence when I say this, but anytime a cannon's low, that's priority, okay? Now, you could actually go. You're level 3. Like, you could ping it, and if your support runs up, you could actually fight here. You could fight here. Yeah, you could. So keep trying to, like, posture forward after each auto and see if she gets close with you, and then you could go in. Keep moving towards them with each auto and ping it occasionally. You have the wave at your back, so you can win. Yeah, keep walking forward. I want, I want to kill the Swain. Like, I don't know wh why you're standing so far back. Like... Every auto move towards him, yes. And ping it like you want to fight. There you go. And if it looks like they're in range, you could jump an E. But yeah, this is good that you're not like overselling it or anything. You just kind of... keep. You do want to fight still. You absolutely want to fight still. You have the wave at your back, yes. If your teammate's near, you can go in. Yeah, go in. Go in. E that shit. That's fine. Now just pull back. It's a good attempt. You had the wave at your back, and you had a level lead, so it's worth looking. Now let's back and take a recall. Let's take a recall here. Pay attention to this nidalee when you, uh, base. Okay. You're gonna get a longsword, you're gonna get boots, and you're gonna run back down there quickly. Yep, let's go. You can jump out of base, too. You'll have enough mana. You can jump. You can jump. You wanna get there faster. Use your W. Now, get your camera as you're walking back to lanes. Always move your camera to the wave and kind of figure out, like, the enemy wave. And try to figure out, like, where they're going to be at, roughly, where you're going to have to set up. So it's probably going to be, like, right, yeah, like, in the middle. So what we're going to do, we're level four again. So right now, you just bought, and they haven't. So I would start autoing these minions aggressively and kite back with each auto. Yep, keep autoing. Yeah, auto the minions. And kite back, remember, towards tower. You're, you're kiting really, like, awkward. Always towards the tower. Yes. That's how you need to move, okay? Be disciplined about it. Try to hold this wave right there. Try to hold it. You can, like, stop. Stop autoing. Stop autoing. Stop autoing. Stop autoing. Just, just last hit. There you go. Just last hit for now. This isn't a freeze, per se, but what this is going to do is it's going to cost them a lot of XP, what you're doing, okay? So you're just going to last hit at the last second, just like you're doing here. Oh, they stayed. Perfect. I would be pinging it and I would walk forward again with each auto. Yeah. Don't oh, don't oversell it though. Farm your minions. Yeah. Now walk towards the Swain at, between each auto. Yep. If he stays close, don't be afraid to jump on him. See how he's being respectful? If he ever gets too close, pull the trigger on it. Yeah, go. I would go on that. I would I would have went. Yeah. E that shit. Now kite back. You're good. Yeah, keep autoing, just like I taught you, just like I taught you. A left click, 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 A left click. You're fine. You're fine. Just A left click. You're fine. See? 
You have heal. You're okay. You keep A left clicking. You're fine. A left click. Yep. Look at that. That's not even a bad trade. I think with a little better Kaida, you probably would have won that. And that's like a jungle gank. Yeah, press B. You don't have to run that far. They're never going behind tower. Is this making sense, though? Are you seeing it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now grab the uh, the Noon Quiver. And I would just grab a Health Pot for good measure here. Just one. And then let's heal up to about like 85, 90%. And then we'll leave. It's good. That was good, though, dude. That was like... You almost you almost clutched that. Just a little better practice with this, and you'll be you'll be shitting on kids. It's too easy. Now the um the goal here, same thing. You check Swain's level. You check the minions. Like if we've got the minions at our back, we could probably go aggressive. Especially if our teammate's standing right next to us. Like he's been doing a good job of being in position, so we can use that and we can jump on them. So like right here. Every auto, I would be posturing aggressively towards the enemy bot lane. I would I would walk forward just off of principle between each auto because I know where the 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 master or not master e, uh, the Lee is. You can see him in mid. Don't don't auto for no reason though. You're just you're just shortening our time on offense. We're on offense right now with the wave at our back like this. You're on offense, okay? Now every auto walk towards them like you're mad because you you really want to try to auto them while you have offense. Should I do it here? Yeah, yeah, you can posture an auto. You don't want to go under tower. Just posture autos. Like, just basic attacks. Don't be afraid. You can always jump away if you get hooked. It's fine. Yeah, try to auto this. You have the wave right there. You could E the tower here. Q it. And then back away as it pops. Good. Use that pot. That's why we got it. If we take a goofy trade. Because we're so low, I would try to just shove. I would walk up confidently and auto, 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 before they get situated. Auto, 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 auto. And then uh, put your E on the cannon so we can get this under. Yeah, I would use my Q as well. I just want to get out of here. And then after I shove this under, I would just jump away and recall. I would jump away. Yeah, that's good. You don't have to go that far. If they're not on you, like, you can back sooner. Here, I would just buy the uh, pickaxe. That's good. So your support's leaving. That means we can't go crazy anymore. Because we'll be by ourselves. Let's walk straight forward into this. Ooh, maybe not. Depends. All right, stay on the wave. I'd stay on the wave. Just last hit, though. You don't want to push because they're all around killing your team. Get behind the minions. You're taking free You're taking free damage. Now you can E this. Yeah. You can try for the kill here. Okay, that's good enough. Good enough. Now, just last hit for now. Because, again, your support's dead. And if you push into them, they can just gank you, right? You're clicking all side to side, Goofy. Practice forward and back movements, especially when you're new. Yes. It's just good habits to, when you're learning this game, okay? Because it's always about maximizing your distance between enemies. Alright, now that your support's here, same thing that I told you before. Every auto, I would be posturing forward, but I'm, I'm not... Fast pushing. I'm just going to slow push. Yep. I would jump on him. I would jump on him for that. Yeah, I would eat that. Then ult, maybe? <gasps> oh! Oh, you got him anyways. Nice. Push, 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 push. You got him dead. Now, Lee's coming below you, but we don't care. We don't care. We don't care. We have a huge wave. Assist ping it. Yeah, that's good. We turn on the Lee. Okay, we turn. E him and kite, just like I taught you. He's going to show up behind you. E... You could kill him. You could kill him. You could jump and kill. Yep, 100%. As soon as you snipe, snap that kill, spam W every time. 
Now I'd shove this next wave under. So E the cannon. Remember, use your A left click and kite back. There you go. That was good though. Now jump away as you finish it. Jump. Jump away. Jump away. You don't have to do this. Just jump away. Press B. You're exiting anyways. That's called an exit trade. You're basically just done after the wave goes under, so you can just bounce. Now, uh, yeah, Kraken into Berserker Greaves. Yep, and grab a pink just, just because we can afford it. No pots anymore. We should be good. Kraken now. But see, that wasn't bad. Yeah. You, see, you see what I mean? What I'm teaching you about wave management is just offense, defense. I'm going to go over it in the VOD too so you understand after. This is a good coaching game though because you got fed here and you played it relatively well so we can get a good demo. So here, same thing. Every auto, I posture aggro. I have the support at my back. I'm just going to slow push from here. I'm not going to... I'm just going to just last hit. I'm just going to chill. That's okay. It happens. That's good movement. That's, that's the correct way to play. And it's just about understanding your spacing. That's all you're doing that for. Is just to understand like, okay, this is my max range. Like, this is what it looks like. Now nah, I would jam. They're not here. So jam means just shove. Like, so you would E the cannon. Yeah. So basically why we're doing this is because they weren't in, they weren't in lane. So we could push up. Maybe take a plate or something. So try to hit the tower. Be delicate about it, though. Because, yeah, if you get too crazy, they can pull us in. You can auto. You're two levels ahead. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're two levels ahead. You, you will win. <laughs> Don't be afraid. Get back there. Get back there. Don't let them push you out like that. You have an item and you're a level ahead, okay? You're very strong now. So even though they're trading, I want you to A left click confidently at them and trade back. You're not just going to let them empty trade us like that ever. Because basically they just damaged you and you just backed up. Now I would leave because Lee's here. I would just back down. Should if Nidalee's nearby, here. yeah, you can pink it. If Nidalee's nearby, you can um start you can start challenging. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and uh step up. You have your jump. You can sidestep to that. Keep autoing and moving towards your team. Yeah, there you go. A left click. This is how you practice it. Spots like these. There you go. There you go. Now you can jump in on it. Yep. I'm never ulting that. That Yumi is like fucking easy as hell to kill. Just keep A left clicking. Practice the A left click. It's more important than like, yes. It is more important than the fucking kills. Keep A left, cl a left click the, the minions too. Just get this habit in your head. Like this is how you fucking ADC. Okay. Like, even though you're fighting people, just execute the fundamental. Now I would take a recall here. I'd back up. I would jump away. Because you're, yep. Because you're exiting anyways. And then from here, it's usually the IE is second. I would actually hold off on the boots and build the BF sword. The reason why is because it's kind of hard to get the gold for BF sword. Right? And then uh, I would just go towards drag here. Hold Every time you leave base, hold tab. 20 seconds to drag. I just path it dragon. We have no ults, but we have flash. So we're just going to slowly make our way towards dragon. And just be aware when you're going to dragon that you're always a target for everybody. So just try to make sure that you're not face checking random bushes that are like deep. Um, you can see Lee though. You're fine. But I'm just saying in general, that's just a rule of thumb when you're rotating the objectives. Just try not to like face check shit. Let your team start the objectives. Oh, go! You can rotate to that. You can rotate to that guy. Remember, a left click it. That's good. Hey, okay, good enough. Good enough. Good enough. That Lee, when he kicks somebody away, that's his ult. That means he's basically surrendering a fight. Just so you know. He's basically saying like, "Oh shit, I lose here," and he's just leaving. I'd go to bottom after this and I would just crash that wave and then um then I would probably group. Now if your team fights without you, that's fine. We can just we could split. So let's just push this up. Okay. As you're pushing, look at the mini map. You've got two top 
and one mid. So I would say I'm only fighting Lee here, and he has no ult. Right? We saw him use the kick, so we know he has no ult. We can push this in. And then let's take a recall. You can just press B. No one's on you. No one's on you. And now we can go and buy our... Uh, I guess we could buy Berserker Greaves now. So we have the move speed to get to the fight. All right, hurry, hurry, hurry. Get out of there. Get out of there. Go to top. Because they're fighting, right? You want to be near it. That's good. You moved your camera there. Does the fight look dead? Check Lee's health. Because you haven't got his health bar yet. And then I would just run to mid because I don't see any action. That's good that you're looking at and Swain's level 7. This guy, you're, you're big enough. You could jump on people and challenge them if you see them by themselves. Lee's by himself over there. Well, with Yumi on him. Above you. Above you. Good. Ping on the way. Ping on the way. Let him know you're coming. Yep. You've got your jump. I would not jump in. I would just start by A left clicking and E. Yeah. Yeah. Keep, keep A left clicking. You're good. Now you can go to chickens. You don't have to chase. Yeah, you can auto them. A left click it. Kite to the right. Yeah. You need your team here. If your team goes, we can auto here. Remember, our role is to simply A left click if they engage for us. Look at Nidalee down there. Camera, camera. Good. So you get a move speed from Kled. Remember, A left click during this. A left click is the most important thing here. If you think you've got the kill, you should jump in sooner for the reset. So you get more move speed. Or move, more uh, gap close. We'll just walk down. Anivia has no passive. I don't know if you know what Anivia does. She has no egg. Yeah, it turns into an egg. Yeah, yeah. So you just calmly A left click to start. A left click to start. Okay, cool. You can A left click here. They have nothing left. Yeah, they have nothing left. You can A left click it. You can auto A left click. Now back away. Now jump away. Just, you you have to understand, you can tease that because you have your jump, but as soon as the f it looks uh -huh. bad, slam that jump backwards. Okay, okay. But I want you to like, I, I want you to explore the cooldowns though. You understand? I don't want you to just give it up. Yeah. Because you're new, right? Like I, like I say, it's best to just limit test a bit, fail a bit while you're new. Uh, pickaxe. All right, we'll go mid here. All right, Swain's only level eight. So you could pretty much, if he's by himself, you could jump on him in E and just kill him because he's so behind. Yeah, I like the uh, back steps while we wait. That's good. It's really good. Now he's kind of by himself, but you have no flash. So I'd be kind of scared to go for it. And we could see Lee's a little bit close to him. Mm. So for now, I would just be thinking about the farm I could grab. I would try to grab wolves. I'd be using my E or chickens. Yeah, either works. I would just E the big chicken and kite back. Remember A left click. Kite towards your tower. Where are you going? I'm getting anxiety. Because if the enemy team's there, you're fucked. Where you were walking. You can take that ward away. Up. You don't have to reset all the smalls because they're going to just die in time anyways. Like, it's better to get this wave than the small chickens. Put it that way. Alright, rotate. You've got your camera. So E and A left click. Yep. Jump away. It's ugly. Jump away. It's okay. So because you got hit by the grab, that's what kills you. The swing grab. If you yeah, sidestep but... that, you're perfectly fine there. That's why Swain is really strong, by the way. That grab ability is fucking rough. If he hits you with that, you're probably dead. You can also, as soon as the grab hits you, you can actually jump away. Okay. So it counts. Like you, can, like, you can like buffer it, yeah. 
Because Tristana jump is like really janky and weird. So you can like get out of certain uh certain CC. You could even do it with like Blitzcrank grab. I don't know if you know that. You can like jump as it hits no, you. Yeah, and it'll like it'll like cancel it. It's really fucking weird. It's it's but it's not like Ezreal where it works 100% of the time. It's like a very janky timing that you've got to learn with practice. I would push this out. Keep A left clicking. Anytime you go near minions, you A left click. Okay, that's your that's what sh and keep walking forward. Like your team's fighting. A left click and move forward. There you go. Yes, you're pushing while rotating. See? Let's go to Baron. Let's just ping Baron. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We gotta rotate to this. Now, remember, A left click as soon as you get there. And E. Good. You can jump on that. That guy's by himself. Yep. You jump again. Because you reset it. <gasps> you gotta jump again. You gotta jump a lot faster than that, buddy. When you get that, when you get that reset of that jump, fling that shit. Yeah, and you're gonna be Eing and A left clicking again if they get close. That's good to kite out. Now, I'd be trying to recall and get my IE. Yeah, grab that shit quick. This is a big spike for us. He has passive. He has his egg. We, we rotate to it. Yeah. Now I would auto chickens a, and I would a left click them as I move. There you go. Good. Swain's by himself. I would be very tempted to e into or to jump into him. Yeah, he's too far back now. We could go to Lee, maybe? Yeah. Get your camera out there immediately. That's good. Now, remember, when we show up, first thing we do, A, left click, E. And if you have your jump, don't be afraid to fucking reset that. There you go. That's fine. Good. This is huge. You jump, 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 jump. Uh, you could have maybe jumped to Yumi, but she jumped to a teammate too fast anyways. Let's rotate to Baron. Assist Ping Baron. You have two items, so Assist Ping Baron. Oh, they already have it. What the fuck? When did they get Baron? <laughs> I, didn't even, I didn't even notice. E this thing. Cool. Fucking blind or something. We can take two towers. Lee's dead. Assist Ping it. You have a wave. And this will be tough. If Anivia hits CC, maybe. Yeah, we just pull back. Oh. There you go. Uh, e. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a little late on the jump. He caught you mid-flight. Yeah. That's an unlucky one, though. That's, like... That's tough. Um... Next item is usually Rapid Fire Cannon or Bloodthirster. I'd recommend Bloodthirster. Tanky is always better in my experience. So we'll start with the Vamp Scepter. You'll be able to afford that because of the timing. Alright, yep. Buy it. Camera, camera, camera. I want to see what's happening. <laughs> we got to get there and kill that guy. Okay, what about Lee? Jump out, you've got... Yeah, I would try. I would try to do something here. Nice try. You got exhausted too, so... Now, when you get close to enemy team, always try to do like a little sidestep right as you get close. Because uh -huh. usually they're going to just throw everything at you right away when okay. they see you getting close. But like, you have to go for that because they're all so low. If you can kill, if you can kill one, you can kill like two more, probably. Blood's probably going to ult top. He needs to go on Swain, not on Orn. There he goes. He figured it out. Oh, he went back to Orn though. That's a misplay. Uh, I would be holding tab. I'm probably going towards bottom. Yeah, dragon spawning soon. 
We rotate to bottom. Orin went to top, so you guys could contest drag here. A left click these minions as you move. Oh shit. Uh run, 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 run. You need to run home. You can get collapsed on now. Yeah. Cause they, they kill Nidalee, they see you, so they could just run to you now. We should maybe walk to Orn and try to kill him or something. I know it's like super thin and unlikely, but we should try because we're not going to kill his team, but we can kill him by himself. Now start pinging on the way. Yep. I would jump in an E because you can always reset your jump. And then, okay. Uh oh, this is scary. All right, we'll just kite back. You got his flash, though. So that's a win. It's just not the win that we wanted. <laughs> we wanted a bigger win. Oh, you got a Aurelian Soul on you. Careful. Now, I would be fighting with the bulk of my team here. I'd be thinking, like, my team is near. And they kind of need... We kind of need Kled to go first. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, we just got to run home. We got to run home. We're getting zoned off. We need to heal up. I would assist Pink Kled and try to get him to, like, engage for us. To defend with his... Oh, God. <laughs> what, a, what a lobby. Go back to go back to top and we can just grab the wave. We're not going to vote. Fuck that. EM. EM, yep. Jump away. You got to jump a little bit sooner. That's a giant motherfucker flying at you. He's level 15. If you're able to kill him and survive, that would have been huge. Like if you're able to get out and he dies, that's huge. Because you can always... Thing is, you can always reset in fountain in spots like these. Hmm. All right. How much... Uh... How much gold do we need for our next item on Bloodthirster? We could buy crit, yeah. Two good spears. Oh, what is he doing? Is it high elo newbies or what? They're like gaming. All right, so, oh, okay, so you could definitely jump in. I would jump in and try to kill these motherfuckers. When I see that, because the game's not going to get any easier, dude. There you go. That's fine. <laughs> see how we hesitated, though? Yeah. If you jump in right away, because, again, we're already losing this game, right? So at this point, hold tab. Look at the shutdowns on the enemy team. The bounties. That Lee, you should be jumping. You see him there, you should just go for that bounty. Because again, look. We're just going to lose anyways. Unless we get something going. Hmm. It's probably Doom. How did this game feel, though? Yeah, um. It felt good. I guess the A, it helps. Usually I get bursted with damage, but I mean I've I've been having it. I've had a better games. Yeah, this would be this would be a a big improvement if you can employ this. Nice. And if they get too close, you just jump away. I would keep a left clicking and limit testing though, and then just try to jump away at the last second. Let's try. All right, now. This was good, though, because this is a lot of good learning. And you did a pretty good job of trying to incorporate what we talked about right away, so that's nice.